Hello guys, so we're back and we're reading chapter four, I think. Chapter five. Thank you. Okay, so we're reading chapter five to the swimming hole. Since it was Scrapper's idea to go to the swimming hole, he happily led us toward the lake. Scrapper loves the water. He's the friend who helped me get over my fear, my own fear and finally learned to swim. But I didn't understand how he could be so sure of where to go. Soon we came to the big rock where I was sure we had to turn left, but Scrapper led us to the right. My nose always knows where to go. It was never once steered me wrong, and my nose was telling me to go left. I knew Scrapper also used his nose, just like I did, and his nose was telling him to go the opposite direction. I always thought I knew Scrapper best. After all, dogs know dogs best. But I wasn't sure if I could trust his nose over mine. What if I follow? What if following Scrapper's nose led us to in circles? Or worse, what if we get lost? I was sure that we would end up in the part of the forest we shouldn't be in. But within a few minutes, Scrapper led us to the, to a clearing, to a a clearing, clearing lake, where the lake glimmered. glimmered. My mouth dropped open. How did Scrapper know his way around my farm? Wow, nice going, Scrapper, zoinks, oinked. You sure got us to the watering hole fast. Come on, let's jump in. Zoinks and Scrapper raced to the lake's edge, both squealing with glee as they dove into the water. I had no, I had no idea pigs loved water as much as they loved mud. I turned to look for Comet. She had a horsey grin as she watched her reflection rippling on the water's surface. Wow, it's so pretty here, she whined. Whinnied. We need. This was a great idea, Scrapper. As I watched my friends enjoy the water, a part of me was super happy, but if it was getting harder to ignore the weird feeling in my stomach, it felt like a frog was jumping around my in my tummy, and I didn't know what to do. Okay, guys, so tomorrow we're reading chapter six. Bye.